to Wise Wednesdays, a weekly video series where we give you BDB tips and advice to help you become a wiser consumer. I'm Nicole Thomas, Director of Communications for BBB Serving Northern Indiana, and today we're talking about Santa apps for your device. For a child, one of the most magical things about Christmas time is visiting with Santa. Sadly, with COVID-19 completely changing the way we approach this holiday season, those visits with Santa may change too. Enter the Santa app. Santa apps give parents an alternative to the traditional visit with Santa, offering children the opportunity to live video chat with Santa himself, watch Santa feed live reindeer, track his sleigh on Christmas Eve, and kids can even give Santa their Christmas wish list. These apps can be fun and especially useful in light of the pandemic, but do your research before you choose which apps to download. Look for a privacy policy and give it a skim. Responsible apps marketed for children provide a description of the service's information collection practices before a parent or child downloads an app to the device. Children's Online Privacy Protection Rule, or COPPA, requires, at the very least, that the privacy policy be on the home page of the app when you open it. Many apps also have a link in the App Store platform. If you can't find a privacy policy, that's a red flag it's very likely that they're on Santa's naughty list. Learn what personal information is collected. Online services directed to children may not collect, maintain, or share a photograph, video, or voice recordings, or even a device identifier of a child from children without first receiving consent from a parent or guardian. The law also requires that apps ask for parental consent before allowing kids to disclose personal information publicly. Set permission requirements. Many apps that are listed as free in the App Store have in-app purchases that may be accessed by children after a parent has allowed them to download the app. Ensure that your child's device is set to require a password for any downloads. Be wary of free apps. Most free apps contain more advertising messages than apps with even a nominal fee. Even those labeled as educational may have deceptive and disruptive advertising practices. Some even advertise inappropriate content. If an app is meant for both children and parents to use, then not all of its advertisements may be appropriate for younger children. It may contain ads for games or films intended for older audiences. Ads may pop up extremely frequently and kids are often required to view these ads in full to continue their game. Sometimes free apps may also contain a form of malicious code called malware that can get downloaded to your device. Check the reviews. Services such as Common Sense Media, a source of entertainment and technology recommendations for families. Make sure that you're reviewing the reviews to see what other people are saying about the app before you download. If you think you've been scammed, report it to BBB Scam Tracker or BBB.org slash Scam Tracker and the Federal Trade Commission at reportfraud.ftc.gov. Whether you've lost money or not, your story can help other consumers avoid similar scams. Thank you for watching and remember that we post a video every week to help you become a wiser consumer. See you next week.